Hello everyone, my name is Alexandra Nicole Yarborough. Alexandra meaning defender of the people, Nicole meaning victory of the people. Yarborough, not so sure what that means, but I'll get it to you later. Anyways, today I'm going to be sharing with you a message that the Lord has really been continually reminding and renewing me, especially this day. And it comes from my heart and it is a message about worshiping God and what that looks like. So first and foremost, when my eyes awaken, granted God's given me a brand new day, the first thing that's on my mind and the first thing that is the most important is giving him the praise and the glory just that I'm alive. You know, no day is promised to anybody and it is truly a gift when we have the opportunity to open our eyes and to see a brand new day with new opportunities, new beginnings. So that's something that I always give him thanks and praise for. Secondly, starting to pray for those who may not know the Lord and those who do that just need to be strengthened and encouraged. That's something that he always gives to me. And the next thing is putting God's word first. Now when you start your new day, it's so important to put God's word first because that's where the renewing of your mind comes from. That's where transformation can happen. And by our free will and by our, our obedience to God, we're able to then conform to what he's asking us to do. Being completely open to whatever he's asking us to do and being renewed in that mindset so that we can go out and we can be a light unto the world. So that's what worshiping God in the practical sense looks like. Now, Worshiping God doesn't necessarily always mean coming to the altar and singing praises. That's all part of worshiping God. But worshiping God is also an attitude. Loving those who are around us, being faithful in our commitments. It also means being faithful to being open to whatever he is calling us to do. Part of being faithful is loving those who are around us and your neighbor doesn't necessarily mean the person that's next door to you or down the road from you. Your neighbor could be three feet away from you. Your neighbor could be someone, a stranger in passing. You know, God has a really funny way of giving us words of encouragement. Sometimes he might prompt you to just give someone a smile or a high five or let someone know that they're thought about. And that's also part of worshiping God. My last point, which is the most important point, that has completely shifted my life, which is why I live to serve. When everything is removed and Christ is the center, nothing else matters but loving God, getting from God and giving to people. That's so important and that's what encompasses obedience. Obedience changes lives. And I don't know if you've ever had someone in your life that they might have said something to you or acted out in love by showing you something that actually revolutionized your life because something just told them. <laughs> I feel like I need to share this with you. And from that point, something happened inside of you from the inside out and it completely radically started a movement of a new journey for you. I can say that about a couple of people that have been in my personal life especially, that because of their obedience it radically changed my life from the old way and the old thinking that I may have had to being enlightened by what God's word says about me, to being renewed in my spirit, and also to recognizing things that weren't cool and weren't right and needed change. And when I looked in God's word and saw where he was challenging me to change that, completely submitting and recognizing it's not about me. It's about being obedient and receiving that so that in turn I can give to others and share a story that will change their life whether it's one person or one million persons or people the most important thing is that our heart and our mind are extended to worshiping God praise and worship is part of it but it's really a decision and a lifestyle and it's nothing that you strive for it's everything that he gives you and enables you by his power and his spirit to walk in every day so until next time kids I'm Alexandra defender of the people Helper of mankind, Nicole, victory of the people, Yarbrough, we'll get back to that later. I have no idea. All right, deuces. <laughs>